Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. My name is Steve. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today, I'm going to be reacting to the top 10 British scientists who changed the world. I've been on this journey long enough now to know that the UK is the home of a lot of great inventions. And so there's no doubt in my mind that you guys obviously also are the home to a lot of great scientists. And so off the top of my head, I really can't name names of British scientists. I'm sure once I go through this list, I'll probably recognize some of these people and I'll obviously know of who they are. But off the top of my head, I can't think of any British scientists, you know. Um, but uh, anyways, guys, before we get started, I want to let you know, guys know that I am absolutely exhausted. I've, had, <laughs> I've ate so much turkey. You know, if you know anything about U.S. Thanksgiving, um, you know, Thanksgiving and then the days after Thanksgiving, we generally eat a lot of turkey. And turkey has, uh, what's it called, uh, tryptophan. And so we just basically have half a week here that we pretty much are very lethargic and just very tired because we're just eating a lot of turkey. And so, and also not to mention, we're just eating way too much, <laughs> you know, uh, hanging out with the family and whatnot. And so uh, that was a lot of fun. And, um, you know, uh, but I don't like the way I feel afterwards. So um, I don't know if I'm going to continue eating these turkey sandwiches um, or whatnot. So because I don't like this feeling of lethargy at all. But uh, anyways, guys, enough rambling from me. Let's go ahead and dive in and check out the top 10 British scientists who changed the world. Oh, yeah. One more thing. The, I... I remember I learned about some of the top British inventions before. Um, I can't remember. I think I've done a couple of videos about that. But one thing that did surprise me, um, I never expected that the actual Internet uh, was created in the UK, but it actually was. I'd always heard that it was created by the U.S. military or something. I know the U.S. military had something to do with it. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it was the actual World Wide Web I don't know if anybody knows what um, the U.S. military's role in the Internet was. Please let me know in the comments section. But uh, I was just thinking about that, that if it wasn't for some British scientist that created the Internet, I can't remember who exactly it was. But if it wasn't for that guy, I literally couldn't come to you right now through the screen and make this video. And so to me, that one right there is an absolutely huge invention, one of the most you know, one of the inventions that changed the world. Also, I believe, wasn't penicillin created in the UK? I don't remember. I had to go back and look at uh, some of those videos and uh, see uh, all these different inventions that were made in the in the UK. Maybe they'll talk about some of those inventions here when we uh, learn about these scientists. But anyways, guys, enough rambling for me. Let's go ahead and dive in and check this out. Today, we're counting down the top 10 British scientists who changed the world. For this list, we've looked at scientists born in Britain whose work has changed human life forever. Number 10, Peter Higgs. Peter Higgs. You've probably heard of the Higgs boson particle and the oh. little collider that was built to observe it. Yeah. What you might not know is that the man that the actual particle was named after is actually British. Originally from Newcastle, he is one of the six physicists that were responsible for suggesting the particle might exist and kickstarting the entire process to prove their theory. Wow. In 2012, they finally announced that they had discovered the particle and the following year, Higgs was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. Number 9. Alexander Graham Bell. What? In Edinburgh, Bell is not only the founder of American company AT&T, but also the inventor of the telephone. So you can thank this man for your smartphone, even if he might not recognize it as the descendant of his... You gotta be kidding me. I had no idea he was British. I just... I think basically he was the uh, founder of AT&T, which is an American company, like she just said, and I think that's why I always assumed he was American. Uh, you know, maybe when I was at school at some point, I, I, I you know, when we were studying him, because I know we studied him in school, you know, probably elementary or middle school. And I probably did hear at that time that he was British. But, you know, if someone was to ask me before this video, if he, you know, what country is from, I would have probably said American, probably because he was the founder of a at and But wow. OK, so the founder of the actual telephone was British as well. Wow. Device. Hired by Gardner Hubbard to experiment with ways to send multiple telegraphs along the same line, Bell was also given funding to explore his true passion, the transmission of the human voice. In wow. 1876, from the comfort of his packed office, he demonstrated his invention by making the first phone call. 
Number eight. Dude, Num can you even imagine, like, if he never invented this communication technology? Like, if, if that had never happened, like, the internet would have probably never happened, obviously, and we would n not be communicating with anybody, you know, across time and space, so to speak, you know, across the sea, you know. I, I literally couldn't communicate with anybody the way we do in modern days without his initial invention. It's just incredible. It really is. Dorothy Hodgkin. I don't think I've heard that name before. Dorothy Hodgkin, known for her work with X-ray crystallography, which is the technique used to determine the structure of crystals, Dorothy Hodgkin worked primarily with biological molecules. She was a pioneering scientist in the field of structural biology, and throughout her life she deciphered the structures of penicillin, vitamin B12, cholesterol, oh, and wow. after 35 years of work, insulin. She was the third woman to receive the Nobel Prize wow. in Chemistry, and to this day is the only British woman to receive the award for one of the sciences. Some Number very important seven, discoveries. Alexander Fleming. We are incredibly him. lucky that so many scientists have done the work to find cures and ways to keep us healthy. For example, Edward Jenner, who invented the first vaccine. But the one that made our list is Alexander name. Fleming, who discovered penicillin and oh. for modern antibiotics. Wow. Although he technically discovered it accidentally by having a messy office and leaving out cultures of staphylococci, there's no oh, argument for right. the results. In 1945, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, which he shared with two others. Wow, you know, I like I said at the beginning of this video, I, I did um, know that penicillin was invented in the UK somewhere. I couldn't remember exactly where, but um, and I did remember it was an accident, but I had forgot the name of the person. And so, yeah, another great invention that if it wasn't invented, if they didn't discover it, it wasn't really invented. It was more like discovered, um, you know, the world would be completely different, obviously, uh, you know, a lot less. A lot more disease, you know, and, you know, it makes me think what's going to happen next, because I know that honestly, in our modern societies, we've actually abused antibiotics to the point that uh, unfortunately, uh, we've started creating superbugs basically in our hospitals and whatnot, because everybody just takes antibiotics when they have a virus. It, like, I don't know why that is a thing. Like, you go to the doctor with a cold virus and they prescribe you antibiotics and people take antibiotics when technically it's not what's needed in that moment. I've, I've know a lot of people that do that. I've been to the doctor, they, you know, for a virus and they try to prescribe me antibiotics and it's like, I don't need antibiotics. I'm not trying to kill a bacteria here. And by everybody taking these antibiotics when they're not needed, we're creating superbugs that are going to be a lot harder to, uh, you know, to to kill. And so uh, I hope they'll find some way to tackle that so superbugs don't become a serious, serious issue in the coming years. Francis Crick, James Watson, and Rosalind Fran. I've heard of James Watson. I don't know why. Six. Francis Crick, oh, Franklin. James Watson, and Rosalind Franklin. London-born Rosalind Franklin used X-ray crystallography to better understand the molecular structure of DNA. Mm. Her pioneering work was then the basis for the work of Watson and Crick. Francis Crick is the British half of this duo, and together with his American partner, they discovered the helical structure of DNA. Oh, oh that's why I know. Okay. The Nobel Prize for their discovery, which also explained how information is transferred inside your DNA. Mm. Sadly, since Rosalind Franklin had died in 1958, she could not share the honor. Nonetheless, their discovery added significantly to our understanding of how living things work. Wow, no doubt. Number five, no doubt. Alan Turing. Okay. Born in London, Turing's work spread across him. several areas of study, but he is most famous for his work with computer science. He was hugely influential in the development of the study, so much so that he's today remembered as its father. If you don't know him from his groundbreaking work in computers, you might know him for his contribution to the British effort in the Second World War. He worked at the centre of Britain's code-breaking team and was responsible for helping to break the German ciphers, allowing allies That's to right. ultimately defeat the Nazis. Father of computer science. Hold on. I want to see that real quick. Hold on. What's it say? Father of computer science, mathematician, logician, wartime, code-breaker, victim of prejudice. Mathematics, rightly viewed, presents not only truth, but supreme beauty, a beauty cold and austere. Wow. 1912 to 1954. He died young. What was he? Is that 42? What happened to him? Allies to ultimately defeat the Nazis. Number four, Tim Berners-Lee. 
This is the scientist that you're probably going to want to thank the most because without him, we wouldn't be bringing you this video. Oh. Berners-Lee is the inventor of the World Wide Web. It all started with him wanting to find a way to share information between researchers. He built the software to facilitate this, and years later, spotting an opportunity to pair wow. his creation with the internet, the pretty mind-blowing online system that we all know and love today was born. That's insane, Few man. technological developments have had such a clear impact on the modern world. Clear impact. Number three. Clear. Stephen Hawking? Okay, Stephen Hawking is British? Okay, I didn't know that. I, I, I don't even know. I think he was American. You know, I think it's because... He always spoke, you know, he had the computer voice, so you didn't really hear his accent. I had no idea he was British, but granted, you know, I honestly didn't know if he was American either. I, I didn't, I don't, I don't think I ever really thought about, you know, where he was actually from. You know, everybody knows Stephen Hawking, but uh, I guess because his computer voice, I just didn't recognize him as being British. But, um, you know, I just wanted to say on the previous one, um, I, I'm curious, like I said at the beginning of this video, okay, so he's the inventor of the World Wide Web, Tim Tim Berners-Lee. Um, so he's, it's, what did, the, what did the military, I know the military has something to do with creating the initial infrastructure for the internet. And maybe he came along and was able to, you know, bring it to the forefront or something. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I don't know what the, contrast is there i'm looking you know looking at what 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 was the difference between what the military did and what he did um but either way you know i, I can't even imagine i mean probably one of the i don't know is that the most significant invention of our time of modern times i mean i mean that's right up there with like you know inventing the wheel i mean i mean so much of everything we do today in, in our modern lives is, uh, you know, is online. You know, everything from working to banking to uh, you know, just everything from stoplights being controlled, uh, cameras, uh, you know, just the communic every the way we communicate completely and almost almost completely is because of the internet. And so, I mean, our if he didn't create there, our entire modern life would be completely different. We would go back decades upon decades, uh, which um would be really really interesting but uh yeah anyway let's continue stephen hawking with a long list of books to his name including children's books and a film made about his life hawking has had such an influence on mankind in modern scientific mm. thinking that he has become a household name around the world his most notable works are his study of black holes and his work in cosmology which is concerned with the origins of the universe all of his amazing essays, ideas, and theories were made in spite of his motor neuron disease, which he overcame for decades, completely defying expectations. Hawking will go down in history as one of the greats, or rather... Yeah, I wanted to say, uh, didn't he live, like, a lot longer than someone normally does with motor... Uh, what is it? M... M... N... S? No, M... M... How do they... What is that? Motor neuron disease, I believe? Uh... Aren't they supposed to live a lot less uh, than he did? I, I believe he lived into his 70s, if I'm not mistaken, right? He already it's has. incredible. Number two, Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton. When you wow. think of Newton, you probably think of the famous apple. Story. The apple, yeah. Although it's not strictly true, the apple didn't actually hit him on the head. He did claim it inspired his theory of gravitation. Like many on today's list, Newton also worked across several different fields of science, but he was most famous for his theory wow. of gravity and the laws of motion. He's often considered to be the most influential scientist of all time, and wouldn't you know it, he just so happens to have been born in Woolsthorpe, Lincolnshire, England. Number one, Charles, Charles Darwin. Okay, I knew he was Our British. Our number one spot is reserved for this incredible scientist because not only was his work hugely influential, but he also changed the way we viewed life itself. His theory of evolution completely rewrote history and demonstrated that all life evolves from common ancestors. Previous theories had tried to explain similar concepts, but Darwin's came with such convincing evidence that it was hard to argue against it. Scientists have gone on to gather even more evidence since then, and the fundamental concepts continue to hold up. Darwin's work ultimately changed the face of biology and our very understanding of nature. Do you agree? Wow. Um... Do, they always ask, do you agree with this list? Um, I would say um, I I think that these definitely are not just the top 10 British scientists who changed the world, 
perhaps these uh, some of these would definitely be in the top 10 scientists period who changed the world. I mean, so much of I mean, especially things like antibiotics discover, you know, the the DNA discoveries, the Internet. Uh, what else do we you know, these all these different things, uh, the, the communication with Alexander Graham Bell, um, you know, Peter Higgs. Uh, yeah, not just British scientists, but. I'm sure some of these you could trade off. And if you're trying to come up with the top 10 list of scientists, period, worldwide, who changed the world, a lot of these would be on that list, period. I'd say at least five of these, at least five of these, maybe more, would be on the list of top 10 scientists, period. Uh, because without some of these scientists and their inventions, you know, everything that we know in modern society would be completely different. And uh, I can't even imagine, I mean, like, what would the world look like without so many of these scientists? You know, I think depending on, you know, what topic you're looking at, you know, some things are obviously more important. Some inventions and discoveries were more important than others, obviously. But, uh, you know, I mean, communication and the internet. Well, that's communication as well. And antibiotics, like I was saying, um, you know, DNA, uh, those are absolutely, those scientists should absolutely be on the top 10 uh, list of scientists, period, worldwide. But this was rather surprising to me how many of these I had heard of. You know, I thought I'd go in here and maybe I'd recognize, you know, two or three of them, but I recognized almost all of them. I think there was like, I think there was two, two here that I didn't recognize, but obviously I knew of their inventions or their discoveries. And so, uh, yeah, this is interesting, guys. It makes me want to know what else, what else has come out of the UK that is so important to our modern life? Because I've learned that, you know, a lot of the stuff that I take for granted on my day to day life was originally created in the UK. Um, you know, I'd love to check out some other uh, videos about, uh, you know, some cool inventions that were invented in the UK. Like I've said, I've, I've done either one or two videos about that a long time ago. Um, I might get Lindsay to look into uh, one of these videos with me soon. I think she'd probably find that pretty fascinating too. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow me on my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Until next time, guys, peace.